Hi, I'm Henry of BlueHeronArts.com. Today, I have a, a demo of a, a, a special kind of seal called the Collector's Seal. We have had uh, some uh, special seals for um, Kung Fu or martial arts teachers or masters or Reiki uh, doctors and uh, also um, for artists, of course, uh, calligraphers and uh, painters. Um, today we have this uh, special seal designed for um, collectors, antique collectors. Uh, the, the content is a Japanese seal uh, pronounced as uh, uh, Kinji Kyokura. Kinji Kyokura. In Chinese, Jing Chi Gong Chang, which means to possess respectfully and to store reverently. Uh, you can see this picture that uh, this kind of seal is used on a uh, word box uh, with the owner's uh, name. So um, I have designed the seal in a very formal uh, hand official seal style. Uh, the, this is the in carving. Uh, in the past, they used to put a, a wax uh, kind of uh, um, seal on the, on the uh, rope that tied the box. So we, we can see on the print, uh, imprint on the wax, this kind of uh, positive uh, image and uh, so you can also I can also do this in a young or positive carving but uh, the cu customer uh, thank uh, by the way uh, this is a commission by Marvin Oka uh, Mrs. Oka asked me to do this style I think it's a very correct selection very um, authoritative look for this uh, seal and this is the stone she select Actually, when you place an order um, of a customized uh, seal, you need to select a stone first. So I don't know what uh, shape or size to work with. Uh, and you, each stone is unique, so you need to uh, reserve it for, to, order, to buy it first. Otherwise, others may take it before uh, we finish, right? So uh, the, I take the order first online, then I'll come up with uh, design ideas. Or if you need, uh, we'll do the translation for you. Um, the, so step one is to place the order of the stone. Step two is uh, the design preview. This is done on computer. You can see I have uh, uh, made numerous uh, copies in case I need in the uh, transfer process. And uh, the next step is to transfer the design after approval by the customer onto the stone. I used to use the kind of ancient uh, copy paper called a tin paper and use a uh, brush and ink. But uh, thanks to today's technology, I got a tip from a uh, uh, YouTube viewer uh, or my uh, Actually, he's uh, living in the same town as, uh, as we. Uh, his name is uh, Cedric. Cedric showed, showed, uh, shared the information that he uh, found that there's a, a um, liquid called uh, acetone. This is from uh, uh, Cedric, a sample. Uh, he got from hardware stores. Uh, it was, it, it's used uh, widely in construction business. And also, I found at home uh, from uh, Amy, my daughter, uh, this is a nail polish remover made of uh, pure acetone. See, pure acetone remover. This function the same, but you have to get the pure one, not uh, the one with acetone in it, but the pure acetone nail polish remover. Um, this is how it works. The the jet, uh, jet what do you call the inkjet printer won't work. You have to find an old Xerox uh, copy machine, or you if you have a Xerox printer that used the kind of powder toner, 
Um, so this I, I got from uh, the coffee store, and uh, I now I use uh, one of this stand. Also, um, Cedric shared information like uh, uh, you you kind of uh, use a uh, cotton to uh, wet the the copy uh, with the the ink side facing the stone, and then just uh, press and rub it. But I found that um, give me too little time to position it um, to position the the copy correctly. So I need uh, I did some experiment, um, so I found this can be done on the back of the the paper after you fix uh, you tape the paper on the stone. So it, that will be easier, much easier. Okay, to prepare the stone for transfer, um, we need to sand it. Because the stone, the stone comes with a, a wax polishing when it's new. Um, we need to open the get rid of the wax by sanding it with a very fine sandpaper. Pay attention to the orientation of uh, the stone. Especially when you have a statue, the animal face should face the user or uh, to the to the left hand side. Uh, in this case, I choose this side because there's a blue mark on the stone that will make the user easy to remember which side is up. So you you place the stamp in this correct orientation. They make sure uh, it's sticked on the stone this way. So I align the stone carefully and then wrap it with uh, wrap it and then tape it with uh, uh, scotch tape. Now I'm ready for transferring and uh, here's the magic. I use a uh, special uh, liquid called the uh, acetone. You can find in our, uh, any hardware stores uh, in the um, paint construction paint section. Uh, you can also find in um, nail polish supply stores like uh, uh, this one is from Amy and my daughter. Uh, it's a nail polish remover made of pure acetone. So you have to make sure it's pure acetone remover or nail, nail polish remover. Um, this is how it works. You just drip some uh, liquid acetone and use a cotton swab to soak the paper. This acetone uh, evaporates very fast, so you have, you, you have to do it very quickly. Because uh, I'm working on the back of the, back of the uh, paper, so make sure it's completely wet or soaked. Because this is not the uh, ink, regular ink, it's the Xerox toner printout, the you know the Xerox printout, so it won't uh, melt. So it dries so fast. You see, it's already dry. Yeah, we have a pretty good uh, transfer now on the stone and uh, you can um, use pencil or marker to 
enhance it, but uh, um, for me, I can see it enough. So um, it's as if I have printed on the stone uh, a dear copy of the, the computer design. It's transferred on the stone now. You can see this is the the computer design, and this is the copy on the stone. The next I'm going to carve. I use a very large knife called the Changshu knife. It's named after the artist of Qing Dynasty, late Qing Dynasty, Wu Changshu. The large knife gives me a, a sturdy line, so it will not uh, uh, lose control. This style is called the four white style, man bai in Chinese. So the white is as much as possible. The characters in white. It's a very typical Han Dynasty style. I have a reference here. It's a mirror image, so I can. Um, see what I'm doing on the design and uh, the stone. It's in the same mirror image. The first character means uh, respect, respectfully. When the stone is hard, I use a cutting to, to do it. This is a Qing Tian, our green field stone with the blue clouds or patterns, natural color.
uh, notice the way I hold my knife. I use this uh, ring finger and the, in, uh, the small finger to uh, serve as a brick and use this the rest uh, three fingers to push. So there are two forces forward and the backward so to control the movement of the knife. I always turn the stone so the way you use the knife is always one direction. Instead of turning the hand, you turn the stone. <laughs>